Good morning, Junior Four. Today we are going to learn the equal fraction. It's me now. I will complete the fractions. Okay. Remember with me, if I have the whole like this Junior Four, the the first one here, and what? Here I have a whole, and I divide it into two equal parts. Okay. Now I want to represent this shape by fraction. How? Remember with me. What will I do? Here, firstly, I must write what my fraction line like this okay and now i need to know two numbers the number of the fraction uh, line and what the number down the fraction line and you know that ha huh, the number of represent to the colored board is called what numerator okay here i have how many colored boards only one so i will write up number one okay and what's called numerator okay and now i want to what the number down the fraction line the number down the fraction line junior four represents to what? The all parts. Here I have how many parts? Two parts. So I will write down two. And two is called what? Denominator. Okay? And here, the second one here, I have what? One whole. And here, I divide it into four equal parts. And now I want to represent this three by fraction. What will I do? Firstly, I must write my fraction line. And up, I will write what? I will write the number of colored boards. How many colored boards? Two. So I will write two up. And down, I will write the number of all boards. I have how many all boards here? One, two, three, four. I will write four. Okay? And the first fraction here, this is called what, Junior? Four. Half. It's called half. I can write, read it as one over two. Okay? Or half. And the second one here, this is what? Two quarters. Two quarters or two fourths. Okay? But here, Junior 4, what do you not think? Huh. Here, if I look here at the first shape here and the second shape, what you see here? This board, this colored board, equal what? Equal this colored board. It's mean what? It's mean the two fractions are, are equal. The two fractions are equal. It's mean here what? Ha, half equal two quarters. Equal two cool quarters. And now I want to know how can I get it? Ha, here if I have this fraction what? Half. I want to know equal what? It's mean I want to get what? The the equal fractions okay i want to know the fraction which what which equal half what will i do here i have what in the numerator i have one so here if i multiply one by two give me what one times two equal equal two and here junior four here i have two times two equal what equal for the same fraction or not yes the same so here half equal to two quarters this is called what junior four equal fraction is called equals what equal fractions and i can get the more of fractions by the same way if i get any fraction and i want to get the equal fraction to this fraction what will i do i will multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number by the same number i can divide i can multiply the numerator by two and the denominator by three no what will i do i must multiply the numerator and the, denomin the denominator by what by the same number now can you get here two fourth fourths equal equal what yes if i have here what two and here i will multiply two by three up and and down i must multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number okay now two times three equal equal six and here four times three equal 12 so here half equal two quarters equal what six twelfths okay 
Now, junior 4, if I have this fraction, 3 over 6, it's called what? 3 6, okay? Now, I want to know what, ha? Huh? I want to get the fraction equal to this fraction. What will I do? First, I must write my fraction line. And here, I have what? Ha, huh? I can multiply the numerator and the, de the denominator by the same what? The same number. Or what? Or divide the numerator and the, denom the denominator by the same number. Here, if I divide, 3 divided by 3. Give me what? 3 divided by 3 equal? Equal 1. Excellent. Here, I can divide by 4. No. I must divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So here, I must divide by what junior 4? Excellent. By 3. Divide 6 by, by 3. Now, 6 divided by 3 equal? Equal 2. So here, 3. 6 equal what? Equal half. Again, junior 4. What's the meaning of equal equal fractions to get the equal fraction to a given a given fraction you can what you can multiply or or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same what the same number by the same what the same number okay like this example here i have what here i have half okay and i want to get what ha huh? the equal fractions what will i do ha huh? if i multiply the numerator and the denominator by four give me what how huh? one times four equal well four and two times four equal equal eight now i can what huh? i can say that half equal four eighths okay and here the next one we have what four sixes and what I want to get what half the equal fraction. What will I do here if I divide ha, the both of, uh, of what of the numerator and the denominator here by what by the same number by two? Okay, here four divided by two equal equal two and six divided by two equal equal three. It's clear, and here. I want to what? Simplify the fractions. What's the meaning of simplify junior 4? Simplify, it's mean I will make a divide. I will make what? A divide. Okay? Here, the fraction to its what? Ha! Huh? It's mean I must put the fraction in what? In the simplest form. In the simplest what? Form. It's mean we divide each of what ha, numerator and the denominator by what by the greatest possible common number it's mean ha, i will divide the numerator and the denominator by the same the same number okay and put it in what in the simplest form okay here i have the first example firstly junior four i must read my title very well Complete the missing term. Okay, here I have what? Ha! Huh. This is half equal what over over six? Ha! Huh. What will I do here? Yes, it's mean I want to what? I want to the equal fractions. Okay, here two becomes six becomes big or small becomes big. It's mean I will make what? Multiply or divide? Multiply. Excellent. Multiply by what? Ha, 2 times what equals 6? 2 times 3 equals 6. Excellent. I can multiply the denominator by the different number and the, the numerator. No, I must what? I must multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. It's mean up, I must multiply by what? By 3. Now, 1 times 3 equal equal 3. So, my fraction what? Three sixths. Okay. The next one. Two thirds equal what over twelve? Here, what will I do, Junior Four? Here, ha, three becomes what? 
becomes 12 it mean becomes big it mean i will make multiply now multiply what multiply what has ah, 3 multiply what equals 12 excellent multiply by 4 up and and down pay attention i must multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number here 2 times 4 equal equal 8 so my fraction what 8 twelfths okay so next 3 fifths equal what over 10 here i have what huh? 5 becomes becomes 10 what will I do here? Excellent becomes big. It means I will make multiply. Multiply by what? Excellent by 2. Up and and down. 2. Sorry, 3 times 2 equal? Equal 6. Now my fraction 6 what? 6 tenths. The next. Here I have what? 2 ninths equal what over? 18 so here i have what i have 9 becomes 18 what will i do here yes becomes big it mean i will make multiply multiply by what i know that's 9 times 2 equal equal 19 so i must multiply up and what and down by 2 so 2 times 2 equal what equal 4 my fraction 4 times uh, over 18. The next one, I have what? 5, 8, okay, equal what? Ha. 20 over what? Here, I have what? I have the numerator. 5 becomes, becomes what? Becomes 20. Here, becomes big or becomes small, near 4, becomes big. It's mean I'll make what? Excellent, I will make times. Times what you need for here? Yes, excellent. 5 times what? Equal 20. Excellent, times 4. I must multiply by 4 up and, and down. Okay? Now, 8 times 4 equal what? 32. Excellent. So, my fraction what? 20 over 32. The last one here, I have what? Ha, 2 sevenths equal 12 over what ha here i have 2 becomes what becomes 12 so becomes big so i will make what multiply by ha 6 excellent here 2 times 6 equal equal 12 i must multiply up and down by the same what the same number now 6 times 7 or 7 times 6 equal what excellent 42 Okay, then I guess, firstly I must read my, my title, complete the missing term. The first one here, half equal, what over 8 equal 6 over what? I must make the first fraction firstly, okay? It's mean here 2 becomes 8, ha, huh, becomes big. It's mean I make what? Multiply by what? 2 times what equal 8 excellent times 4 I, I must multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number it's mean multiply up by what by 4 1 times 4 equal equal 4 so 4 over what over 8 now I'm finished no what will I do? I will de delete this. Okay. And now what? Ha. Huh. 1 becomes what junior 4? Yes, 1 becomes. Becomes 8. Becomes 6, sorry. 1 becomes. Becomes 6. So, it's mean I will make what here? Yes, excellent. Ha. Huh. Multiply by. By what? By 6 up and and down 2 times 6 equal what equal 12 i will write here what 12 my fraction 6 what 6 12 okay or 6 over 12 the next one what if i have what here third 
one third okay and here three becomes what becomes six it mean becomes big it mean i make multiply multiply by what you near for excellent three times two equal equal six okay i must multiply up and down by the same number it's mean one times two equal equal two my fraction to what two six okay i'm finished no what will i do i will delete this and make what ha huh. look at the next fraction here one becomes what becomes five it's mean i'll make what junior four here excellent it's mean i will multiply up and down by what by five excellent up and and down three times five equal fifteen so my fraction five over fifteen the next one here i have what ha two fifths and what here i i find five becomes fifteen it mean becomes big it mean i make multiply okay multiply by what junior four yes excellent i know that a five my uh, times three equal equal 15 so i must make what i must multiply up and down by by three like this times three up and what up and down okay now two times three equal what excellent equal six now i have what ha huh? six over five or six fifths okay i'm finished no the next what will i do here yes i will look here two becomes what junior four yes excellent two becomes eight it's mean what two times what equal eight times four excellent it's mean i must multiply up and down times times four okay now five times four equal 20 my fraction eight over 20. the last one here i have what yes three becomes nine three becomes what nine it's mean what becomes big it's mean i'll make multiply multiply by what three times what equal nine excellent times three so i must multiply up and down by by three now seven times three equal excellent 21 so my fra fraction nine over 21 i'm finished now what will i do here is i cancel this and make what look at the next fraction here seven becomes what becomes 35 becomes what 30 35 it's mean what becomes big becomes big it's mean i will make multiply multiply by what by five excellent and here three times five equal equal what i can multiply up by the number and the and down multiply by the the different numbers no i must multiply up and down by the same number okay so three times five equal 15 so my fraction 15 over 35 the next question First, junior four, I must read my title very well. Here I have what? Simplify each fraction to its simplest form. What the meaning of simplify? Simplify, it's mean I will make divide. I'll make what, junior four? Divide. I'll make what? Dividing, okay? And here, junior four. The first one here, four over 12. Huh, can you tell me I can divide up and down by what? Yes, I will search 4 and 12. Find 4 and 12 in table what? Excellent, by table 4. Yes, 4 times 1 equal 4 and 4 times 3 equal, equal what? Equal 12. So if I divide up and down by 4, give me what? 4 divided by 4 equal? one because any number divided by the same number equal one and now 
12 divided by 4 equal what? Huh? Yes, excellent. I will search in my table. 4 times what equal 12? 4 times 3 equal? Equal 12. So here I will write what? 3. So my fraction, it's what? It's a third. Okay? The next. Here what? Huh? 6 tenths. What will I do here? I will search 6 and 10. In any table? Yes. In what table? Table 2. It means what? Ha. 3 times 2 equal? Equal what? Equal 6. And what? 5 times 2 equal? Equal what? Equal 10. So I have 6 and 10 in table 2. It means I must divide up and down by, by 2. Excellent. Here. Divided by 2, up, and divided by 2, what? Down. Now, can you tell me 6 divided by 2 equal what? Is excellent, equal 3. And down, 10 divided by 2 equal? Equal 5, excellent. And my result, what? Or my fraction, 3 fifths. The next, 3 over 30. What will I do here? Ha, 3 and 30 in the same table? Yes, in the table what? In the table 3. It means I must divide up and down by, by 3. Now, 3 divided by 3 equal? Equal 1. Because in number divided by the same number equal? Equal 1. Now, 30 divided by 3 equal what in your 4? Excellent. Equal 10. So, my fraction what? 1 over 10 or what? Or one tenth. The next, 12 over 14. I can get 12 and 14 in the same table? Yes, table of what? Yes, table 2. So I must divide up and down by what? By 2. 12 divided by 2 equal what? Equal 6. Excellent. And 14 divided by 2 equal what? 7. Excellent. So my result? Six sevens. Okay, the next here what six divided by or what ha huh, six over twenty-one. Okay, here six and twenty-one in the same table. Yes, excellent. In table what do you need for in table three? Excellent. I can take two. No, why? Because 21 in table 2? No. So what will I do? I will take 3. Okay? I know that 2 times 3 equal? Equal 6. And what? 3 times 7 equal? 21. So I must divide here up and down by what? By 3. 6 divided by 3 equal? Equal 2. And 21 divided by 3 equal? Equal 7. My fraction, 2 sevenths. Okay? And here, the last one, 10 divided by 100. What will I do? Here I have 0. So I will cancel 0 from up and 0 from down. It means I will divide it by, by 10, up and down. So my result, 1 over, over 10 or 1 tenth. And now we will learn adding and subtracting the fraction. Okay. Firstly, I will I will start from the the adding fractions. Okay. When you are adding some fractions of the same denominator, is the same what denominator? We will write the same denominator and we will add what the numerators. Okay. I will write the same what denominator and I will write what and will add the numerators like this for example junior 4 I have 3 tenths plus 4 tenths what will I do here I have the same what the same denominator I will write what 10 the same what the same denominator and here ha 3 plus 4 equal what equal 7 so my result 7 tenths okay the next, I have what? 4 over 15 plus 2 over 15 plus 5 over 
15. What will I do here? I have what? The same denominator, 15 and 15 and 15. So I will write what? 15. And now, have 4 plus 2 plus 5 equal? Equal 11. So my fraction what? Ha, 11 over 15. And the same idea if I want to subtracting the fraction, what will I do? Yes, here. If I want to subtracting fraction, okay, ha. If I have the fractions of the same denominator, I will write what the same denominator and what subtract the numerators. Like this, 5 over 7 minus 2 over 7 equal what I have here the same what the same denominator so I will write 7 in the denominator and now ha 5 minus 2 equal what equals 3 so my result what 3 over 7 or 3 sevenths okay the first question here add and simplify the sum to its simplest form okay Look here, junior four. The first one, what? Ha! Huh. One over eight plus three over eight. Okay. Here I have what? The same what? The same denominator. It's mean I will write here what? Eight. The same what? The same denominator. And here I have what? I have plus. So one plus eight equal what? Sorry, one plus three equal? Equal what? Ha! Huh. Equal four. Excellent. So four what? 4 divided by by 8 but here's in your 4 this is the simplest form no what will I do simplest form it's we it's mean what it's mean I want to make simplify so it's mean I must make what multiply no be attention simplest form it's mean I will make what divide okay here 4 and 8 in the same table yes in table what in table 4 so here I must divide up and down by what? By 4. And here 4 divided by 4 equal, equal 1. And 8 divided by 4 equal, equal 2. So my fraction 1 over 2 or half. The next 2 divided by 9 plus 1 divided by 9. Okay. I can read it as what? Ha, 2 over 9 or 2. Ninth plus one ninth okay equal what here I have the same what the same denominator so I will write here nine after that ha two plus one equal equal what equals three now this is the simplest form no why because three and nine in the same table table what table three so I must divide here by what? By three up and and down. I can divide up by three and down by four. No, why? Because I must divide up and down by the same number. Three uh, divided by three equal one. Nine divided by three equal what? Equal three. My fraction is what? Third. The next. Here I have what? Ha, 5 over 12 plus 3 over 12 I have what I have the same denominator so I will write 12 and here up what will I do 5 plus plus 3 equal equal what equal 8 excellent so I will write what 8 now this is the simplest form no what will I do I will search for what ha, 8 and 12 in the same table. Yes, table what? Table 4. Excellent. So here I must divide up and down by, by 4. I can divide by 2. Yes, but if you divide by 2, you will divide again by 2. Okay, and here I will what? I will take what? The greatest possible common number. So I will what? Divide by 4. 8 divided by 4 equal? Equal 2. 
and 12 divided by 4 equal 3. This is the simplest form? Yes. Why? Because 2 and 3 in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the same uh, table? No. So, this is called what? The simplest form. Okay. The next. 2 over 15 plus 4 over 15. What will I do? I have here the same what? The same denominator. 15. And now what will I do? 2 plus 4 equal? Equal 6. Now, junior from finished? No, I must put this sum in what? In the simplest form. Ha! Huh. It means I, I will search for 6 and 15. In the same table or not? Yes, excellent. Table what? Yes, table 3. It means I will divide up and down by, by 3. Now, 6 divided by 3 equal what? Equal 2. And 15 divided by 3 equal? Equal 5. My fraction what? 5 over 2. Sorry, 2 over 5. The next question here. Firstly, I must read my title. Here, subtract and simplify the difference to its simplest form. Okay? Here, what? The first one, junior 4. 4 divided by 5 minus 1 over 5 equal what? Here, I have the same what? The same denominator, 5 and 5. So, I will write the denominator 5. And now, 4 minus 1 equal what? Excellent, minus 3. Here, I'm finished? Yes. Because 3 and 5 in the same table? No. So, this is what? This is the simplest form. The next one, 5 over 6 minus 4 over 6 equal what? Here, I have the same denominator, 6 here and here, 6. So, here I will write... 6 and now 5 minus 4 equal equal 1 extent so my result what or my fraction what sec okay or 1 fix the next 4 over 9 minus 2 over 9 equal what here I have what I have 9 and 9 this is the same denominator so I will write the denominator 9 now 4 minus 2 equal what? Equal 2. Excellent. Now, this is what? The simplest form. Why? Because ha, 2 and 9 in the same table? No. So, this is what? The simplest form. The next is 3 over 11 minus 1 eleventh. Equal what? Here I have the same denominator. So, my denominator what? 11. And now, 3 minus 1 equal? Equal 2. So, 2 eleventh. Okay. The last one. 1 minus half equal what? Yeah. Remember with me, junior 4? Ha. Huh. I know that 1 equal what? Equal 2 over 2 equals 3 over 3 equal what? Ha. Huh. 4 over 4 and and so on. So, I can replace this one by what? Ha. Huh. Here I have what? Ha. Huh. I have here what? My denominator what? My denominator 2. So, I must write here denominator 2. So, I can write one what? I can write one as 2 over 2. I can write one as 3 over 3. No. Why? Because here I will choose my fraction according to what according to my denominator and here i have two so i must choose here what ha two over two okay now one what two over two minus what minus half now i can make a subtraction yes here i have what two over two minus half equal what here I have the same denominator, so I will write here 2. And now 2 minus 1 equal 1. Equal what? Half. Okay. And the last one, 1 minus 3rd equal what? Here I will replace 1 by what? 2 over 2? No. Excellent, junior 4. 
I will choose what? Ha! Huh? I will choose one and we will replace one by three over three. Why? Because here my denominator what? My denominator here is three. So I must replace one by three by three. Okay? Minus what? Minus third. Excellent. I will write third as it. Okay? And here I have what? Here is the same denominator three and three. So I will write here what? Three in my denominator. And now I will subtract my numerators. Three minus one equal equal to. Is this the simplest form? Yes. Why? Because two and three ha huh, not found in the same table. And this my lesson for today. I hope to you understand my lesson. Goodbye.